Esme might just be more dangerous without her memory, y'all. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This for General Hospital, March 6, 2023. Hold on, let me show you it's March 6. Yeah, it's March 6. Okay, so when they were showing this scene, now, before they showed the scene, you remember Heather was telling Esme that uh, she looked it up, she did the research, she could actually keep the baby in prison with her, um, and she said she was going to get transferred she was gonna have she she had her way of getting transferred or something like that so i was like okay i'm about to look this up i want to see for real so i came across the information and it's true i think they said the first 18 months um i'm guessing because the baby need the nutrients and stuff if you breastfeeding and all that i don't know i didn't read the whole thing but yeah it is true they say it depends on the uh prison some some people um not some people some places will require a uh, foster care or a uh, close relative like spencer was trying to do while while on rare cases i said while on in rare cases um sometimes they can stay with the mama and i said man i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> but yeah okay so on today's episode, Alexis was questioning Gregory about why he lied, and he was he started basically getting all emotional and stuff. Like he is hiding something, and she was mentioning calling um, his kids, and he was like, "Don't say nothing. If you're really my friend, don't say nothing to neither one of them." I was like, "Is he sick? What y'all think he hiding? Is he got a? What is his secret? Like now, I wish I had been watching the whole time because now I want to know what's going on with him, and I'm sure Alexis ain't gonna give up." I'm definitely sure she ain't gonna give up. But okay, next we got Isma. So Spencer was like talking about taking the baby home. Um, then Diane came and let him know that Esme filed a motion to keep her baby. And I said Heather gave her that information. Cause you know, she was like, she didn't know you could do that. Um, that Mason guy followed Austin, so he knows about Nicholas. Well, we already knew he knew about Nicholas anyway, because y'all remember the at the end of the episode, Nicholas was uh got the machines connected to him and everything. And I said, they must be waiting till they find a permanent uh, replacement for Nicholas or something. But I said, I hope they don't drag this out for too long. Because remember, last time they had him gone, and then he showed back up when he was carrying Ava up in there during uh, Nina and Valentine's wedding. But yeah, Victor said Victor said that he's not, uh, he's going to find another way. So he gone. I said, he does mother. How did they think? I said the whole family technically done did something they ain't supposed to be. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. Do y- are y'all glad that Esme protecting her rights or whatever and keeping her baby? Or do y'all think she should just give uh, the baby up? I think, was it Laura or Diane saying that uh, maybe, hopefully, Spencer can um, get her to cooperate with him? I said, we'll see. But if, if not, if she do take that baby there, y'all already know Heather going to find a way to break out and come or do something. But uh, what else happened? Sonny knows that Ava is up to something. I said he knew. Remember I telling y'all? I said um, when they was, it was Spencer, it was Laura, Sonny, and Ava. Ava was over there. She just looked so guilty. And I said Sonny going to be, he going to know something wrong. So he questioned her about Nicholas, about um, you was worried that he's going to come back and all this stuff. And she was like, she finally said that he threatened Avery. Well, he threatened to take Avery. And Sonny do, did what he do, talk about some, um, if you're in danger or if he's threatening Avery and all this stuff, he can help. If Nicholas holding something over her head, he can help. I said, man, I want to. And on the preview for this week's episode, they sent the, the guy, the Mason guy. I finally learned his name, if that's his name. That's the only Mason I don't seen. So I guess, I mean, <laughs> I said that's the only Mason I've seen. That's the only new character I don't seen. So his name got to be Mason. But, uh. Mason, I think he's on the preview saying Sonny Corinthos can't help or something like that. So, and Victor over here, he over here, I'm confused. Because <laughs> I thought that Victor had the Mason guy. He was working with the Mason guy. But he's questioning Elizabeth about where Nicholas is. So, he must really don't know. And I said, he don't know that Elizabeth don't got free of all these charges. Because he over here threatening her stuff. I said, sir. I mean, he still could do damage to her. She defended herself, but I said, yeah, he still can get you. He still can get you. Now, when he finds out she done folded on Nicholas, I wonder what he going to say or what he going to do. Because, you know, he always got to take matters into his own hand. But let's see what else. Um, Elizabeth tells Esme her about her involvement. Look, Esme, look, I told y'all, she going to be more dangerous without her memory. I wonder did she get her memory back. What if she did and they going to reveal it soon and she just playing that 
innocent game so people can feel sorry for her. Because Laura seemed like she the one who, what if she tell, because they said in the spoiler that um, either Esme asks a, a favor of um, Laura or Laura asks a favor of her or something. I said, I wonder if she going to give the baby to her. I don't know. But yeah, um, Elizabeth told Esme about her involvement, how they held her against her will and everything and Esme she was like basically she don't know who to trust I said that's true I said but I don't know I really don't know but she tells Spencer that he'll never see the baby and I said Spencer 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 you should have written about it a different way but now we got I think this another storyline that I'm ready for them to finish up in regards to Willow because okay you know Lisa had matched and they got to do further tests you know to make sure her health good and all this stuff so they got that meeting and everything so Michael wants to know, is there a catch? And I was like, I was hoping. I was like, say no, it ain't no catch. You just doing it because she your, uh, what she is? She her aunt? Yeah. I was like, but she ended up telling her that she did. She does have a secret uh, motive. Not a secret motive, but she wants her to at least consider, you know, having something to do with Nina. And I said, if she gives Nina a chance, although I was, I know that eventually she's going to give Nina a chance regardless. Because that's just how the shows be working. But I was like, in this moment, if she gives her a chance, Nina going to blow it. She going to blow it for sure. Because she, right now, she, her focus, she be showing up for uh, Willow and still coming to the hospital. At the end of this episode, she showed up. But the thing about that, though, is she going to allow, hopefully not, you know, it'll be shocking and surprising if she don't allow her need for revenge towards Carly to uh, ruin her chances with Willow. Because Willow's will be talking to her on the next episode and everything. And I said, look, right now in this moment, I don't know. I think she going to mess it up. I think she, she going to see an opportunity to stick it to uh, Carly and Drew. And she going to use it. Because she already, they said she re- reveals a secret. She know a secret. She going to be questioning Drew again. And I said, how many times you going to question this man? And I don't understand. If you don't find out that you got another daughter, you lost one daughter, you find out you got another daughter, you don't been mean to her, which was your own fault. And But then the Carly withholding the information is Carly's fault. I still hold her accountable for that. Your best bet is to mind your doggone business and focus on proving that, focus on proving that you um, deserve this chance with your daughter. Because she already done told Carly that she... <laughs> that she considered her a, a mother and that she want her to be the what matron of honor or something like that i like look watch watch but uh Liesl, she don't react to calmly now i said she don't change for sure but i'm hoping her and um scott work things out because they said she gonna have a freaking meeting um she gonna be meeting up with victor and i said oh lord i said man hopefully she stays on the straight and narrow path well, I ain't gonna say she on straight and narrow path because she was just trying to take out Esme with that pistol. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see what else happened. Not too much. They doing the same doggone stuff. I think the shocker was seeing Esme say um, that she keeping her baby and tell them because they was they was everybody was walk, trying to manipulate her because she ain't got her um, memory and stuff. So I was like, okay, it's good that she knows. But at the same time, I want to see. Um, who is behind? Because remember, the Mason dude was on the phone with somebody. He was on the phone with somebody. That's why I thought that it was Victor. I guess this, that might be whoever, whatever Austin did. Is this man actually his cousin? And what what does Austin owe him and what happened? Because I didn't, I had stopped watching at that time. Um, so I don't really know. I just hear them talking about how he had threatened, he, he had threatened, um, I think one of the Massey kids or something. And uh, that's all I really know about the guy. And that he keeps showing up places. But yeah, he said he followed Austin. I said, mm-mm-mm. You ain't just follow him. You got him. But yeah, I think they just waiting until they uh find somebody else to play Nicholas. But on the preview to- for tomorrow's episode, TJ is supposed to be asking Molly if they having a baby. But by her facial expression, I was like, I don't know. Do y'all think the, the test said positive or what? But uh, what else? I think Drew telling Carly something. Ava talking to Austin. Curtis, Alexis talking to Curtis. I don't know what that's about. Um, Marshall talking to Portia and um, Willow and Nina talking. So we'll see. Oh, and um, Dex is saying that he thinks that Sonny onto him. But y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Until next time, deuces. Be safe and have a great day.